Right tubers, here's the plan. I got a fan and I try and get to turn on via the temperature sensors somewhere on that battery pack. Don't know how to do this. And some instructions because instructions help. So the plan is, I worked out that number three relay has set up for cooling. So I think 15 and 16, where is it? Where's my Peter paper? Output control, cooling enabled. So 15 and 16, so these two pins here will connect my fan and I've just got to put power from here to here but at the same time I'm also going to move the negative power onto the right side of the shunt so we get an accurate reading of how much power we use. Right, I think I have to work out something to actually encapsulate that somehow, I don't know how. I might have to do a 3D printed cup or something I think. I decided a coke bottle top was a bloody good idea up there. I got it all sorted now, I've worked out all the wiring side of things, taking it into account that I've never done anything like this before, so it is a, it is a little bit new to me. So basically all that I had to do, uh, like I showed in the picture, 15 and 16, is the signal from um, relay number three. Um, I just had to pull power from pin 29 and 30. So I had the positive go into the 29, and then the positive come out of the 30 and then back around into here so the relay turned it on. I didn't even realise you needed to do that. I just thought you plugged the negative and positive into the relay outlet, output and away it went. So as I've said in a few videos before, there's a bunch of temperature sensors in this. So I'm going to get this fan to turn on using this. I'm going to hold it. There's a good 30 centimetres back. I'll turn that on so it'll be nice and noisy. And that's on low and it'll literally be only blowing cool air over. There you go. Turns the fan on. So that, uh, that wouldn't have warmed it very much. In fact we should be able to go down to the computer here. And go control logic. Go accept. Go thermal. There we go, we've got high ambient temperature. It's coloured yellow, and I've got it set to 43 degrees. I get a little fan and blow it on that. It's dropped two degrees already. Now I've got this to, to the delay reaction set to two seconds, so it actually happens quicker. In real life you'd want the actual, the fan to stay on for an extra minute or so after it's dropped from the temperature that you don't need. There you go, it's about to go off. There you go. And it shut down again. Oh, there it goes, it goes back on again. So that's going to be really handy. In winter it can warm the shed and in summer it can cool the shed. So let's go back to the computer and let me run you through all the settings that I used. Okay, so I only used two pages. So first of all you click on menu and you click on hardware. And then you click on expansion. Once you're in expansion you click on edit. And then you choose your template option, so default it's none, mine is a 12 volt board. And then relay 3, you set the option for that, and I choose chose cooling required. Now, when you click save, you need the USB cable in, in fitted, otherwise it won't save. You can, in ad hoc, or in wireless mode, you can view all these settings, you cannot make any changes. Bit of a security feature. Um, took me a little bit of time to work that out. Okay, the second one you've got to change is in menu, control logic. And once you're in there, you want thermal. And at the moment, you can see uh, high cell Celsius and high ambient are both turning the fans on. So that's 27 and 41. So if we make that uh, 28 degrees and hit enter, and we make that threshold, what's that, 42? 42, and we click enter. We hit save and they'll both turn off and the fans will turn off. Uh, basically I've got it set to 60 seconds for the delay and one second uh, to restart. So that just means when I do these changes now it's instant rather than having to wait. So if I choose that one and make that back to say 20 degrees, I hit enter, I hit save, it turns the fan back on straight away. So tubers, I hope you like that video, I sure do like making them. Any comments or questions below? And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.